Hey guys, this is Killrob speaking and today we are back in Moonshine Inc. with our little journey from home brewer to uh, Ma Master Moonshiner. And uh, we are just about uh, to finish off all, all the brandies and get into a new run with loads of new recipes. So far going really well and it's quite fun. So uh, I'm, I'm enjoying my time. This is the third episode in a row that I record this evening. So uh, I'm... I still know where we are, just about, and uh, let's continue right there. Day 109. This is still not a speedrun. And this is still our camp with the zombies walking about. And we do have our beautiful riding shotgun that was gifted to us by a stranger uh, alongside the road. Forest camp has sold out. Oh no, we uh, retracted those batches. Oh yes, I remember now. Um, but anyway, let's take a look. We don't have anything in here. We've archived everything. And wow. Wow. This is good. Good stuff. But this is cheap. So it's not good stuff. We need the fine things. Oh. Um, these? Should have a different icon on them, shouldn't they not? I mean, we, we do have different different icons here for the recipes like that's the the moonshine um, icon should be the brandy icon oh and there we found the something sn snappy All right, and we need to look for recipes that do not require any filtration steps ah not required there we have another one our workers are also getting a little closer now to uh, leveling up still a, f a fair few hours away from that but uh, at their current um, wages that is <laughs> not an issue either you can forgive them to have a little bit of back pain another thing that we wanted to do is go to the map and make another delivery to the forest camp uh, the moonshine is in high demand we do need to get that to them and we just finished those final batches, right? Um, oh, look here. Here they have the correct icon in there, but they don't have that in the in the list of recipes. Oh, no. Was it in the list of... There. No. Where, where was it? In the archive. Yes, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, everything is moonshine there. Not right. Let me just report that to the developer real quick. Yeah, and of course that was already reported, so it's it's all good. It's going to be fixed in the next patch, I assume. It's a pretty simple thing. So now we can focus on making some really fine stuff. Uh, let's head over to the recipe map again. Oh, the Applejack is far out there. It's almost a premium. What's the fruit? We... So we didn't make what the fruit? Uh... Really? Oh yeah, it wasn't the perfect match, was it? Right. So let's have another go at that one. That, this intrigues me now. So we're going to load the what's the fruit um, recipe, and oh, rather we can't load it, but uh, we can just put these in again, and then we take the other one, the unknown one. Yeah, that's that's the one. Need the better yeast, and then uh... oh no, this is... what? So this is something snappy. We have made that one, and this one, aging step. So it's not that. It is this one, is it? But we need a much better yeast for this one. Yeah, can't can't make that happen with this. Okay, because the the total area that we can generate is dependent on the yeast so um yeah oh well total area it's not necessarily because of the weirdness of the graph it's not total area the the total sum of um corner point values is dependent on um on the yeast that you get without the various effects of adding taste through yeast and we can't sign this off like that that's impossible Oh, that looks like another premium one. In no way we can get there. This one, on the other hand, looks very much doable. Let's see if we can figure it out. 
So, what I'm reading here is that we need something that is... Has a tiny component of bitter. Uh, something that has... And then equal amounts... We need equal amounts of sweet and bitter after that. And then we have a tiny component of salty in there somewhere. And we have a tiny component of acrid in there as well. Is it? Yeah, yeah, we do. Okay. Um, let's go searching. Oh, cherry and berries? Maybe? I've lost the recipe there, but um, let's put that in. And if we then reduce the berries down and choose this one, there we have a match. We would have to need to pull it slightly further, right? Ah, man. So close. Oh, that we can make that happen if we also add parts of apricot. Uh, because that one does have a slightly different split towards the bitter. So we can like skew it a little bit that way though, in that regard. Perfect, okay. Figured that one out. Um, so now I just need to make it happen. So this is 96. You do ha now have a little bit too much of this. So let's go like that. Ah, oh, yeah. You see it approaching. 99. Even less. 99. Can we get it there? No, we have gone too far the other one direction now. Ah, oh, that's so close. Can we get it exact? No. Now we have overshot again. It's somewhere in there. Can't really get to 100. Or maybe I can, but this is so... Like, pixel perfect that can't make it happen. But this is really good. So we have found something that is a really good match. And it did require the apricot in there to, to make that happen. I, I quite like this. That it's such a nuanced thing that you can figure out just from the plot. And which one do we want to use? Let's try to control it a bit better. And let's use the triplets. Slightly lower quality. Although, this would have fantastic quality in... The riding shotgun. Problem being, the tank probably, that we need to remove all kinds of tastes then. Hmm. But we could go for the salty, bitter kind of yeast. Or also for the bitter acrid or whatever it was. Um, you're faithful. No, the triplets. Let's use the triplets. And just continue. Looking good. Steven, are you going to set up the fermentation? Sounds good to me. Oof. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a lot there. Uh, this one, no. Uh, it's too much of this. Ooh, no. Okay. It will be the, the wild kindle. And let's add all the mesh amount. Berries, cherries. Lots of cherries. And now, how much do we need to add? Oh, there's some limiting component in there? Yeah. Look at that, because what do we not have enough of? Maybe the cherries? Can I help you? Heading to the store, checking it out. Cherries are watched and we only have 110 kilos. That might be it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, hello there, Mr. Mr. Policeman. Uh, I'm just going to buy 50 kilos of this. It's fine, right? That's, that's you, you don't mind. So now, let's set up fermentation again. Um, this is looking good otherwise. Yeah, now we can pull it up. Definitely can get rid of one of those points. If I get rid of two, I still have 12%, but it's on the low end instead. I think that's safer. Let's try that. Ah, oh, can I create it? Yeah, yeah, I can. I would love to make it like this instead already removed that massive point of saltiness in there that will get us a much better match i think there will be some way because there's such a big component in it some way to remove a jar or two of sweet let's set that up three days and seven hours All right new batch let's go out and experiment a little bit without um, any recipe choosing just reset there and um, let's see what we can do with what what was what was cheap? Um, bananas, <laughs> two hundred seventy kilos, or oh, something more with apple in it. <laughs> uh, 
Um, or pears. We do have plenty of those. Plums. And of course, we do have plenty of strawberries. Uh, let's just put that into the electric press and choose a tank. Ah. It does require a filtration step. That one does not require a filtration step, but that was a premium one. I uh, can't do that one. That it looks also very premium. Aging step. That one would work. We can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can do this. Okay. So, uh, is this just strawberries? And what uh, what has the opposite of this? Let's see. Uh, we do need sweet and ah oh, pear. Yeah, there you go. And wild yeast. And now just put that into the electric press and make the split go that way. Almost. It's almost right. It's close enough, though. So maybe there's one of those nuances in there now that we can figure out to make it perfect. So we do need a hint of sour. But the rest needs to... We need the same amount of sweetness. So maybe we need something with yellow and green. Do we have yellow green? We do have yellow green as an orange. So if we put the tiniest bit of orange in there, that's probably still too much, right? Yeah, yeah, way too much. Okay, no, that doesn't work. So now let's let's leave it at that. I, I'm satisfied with the match. Uh, we are going to use this one then. Because we don't need to change much of the profile. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess. Riding shotgun or this. Let's see how much it reduces. Oh yeah, look look how much the just the choice of this one affects it. It's another five percent of five percent, yeah. Is it? Holy, yeah. Oh my. Another five percent right there. So whatever we found there seems to be pretty solid. Um, let's create that and set up the fermentation. Oof. Ooh. What do we get here? Just a hint of s oh man so much extra taste don't want that this one is somewhat manageable because we can cut that off 344 kilograms of pears and we just have to add oh okay we don't have enough pear mm, yeah, yeah let's let's buy some more <laughs> that's, that's crazy amounts here you really do need to shift key uh let's buy 500 kilos Oh yeah, set up fermentation. So now we do have enough. There. Oh yeah. Five. <laughs> yes. Yes, that is a lot. And now we fill the tank with just the juice from these. And... That is... How much water? 20 liters. Okay. So we cut out that point. We can't cut out that point. And we can easily probably reduce the um, sweetness there. So I can go all the way to the last point and just say good enough. Oh, it doesn't match, it says. There it matches. But we don't care, right? We can always make it match later. So yeah, but this just indicates that we do need to fix it before uh, it is bottled. Otherwise, this is not counted as a match. Now that's the way it works there. Um, depending on what category it is, and if it's a fine one or premium or cheap, they do have different match requirements. And I think we uh, two or three episodes ago, we did take a look at that, where it was stating that it was, I think, 80, uh, 85 and 90 or something along those lines uh, that you needed to to match there or maybe for premium was even higher but um, that means you need to have a very very specific setup for taste for it to qualify later on and for the higher grades and that is being distilled out then this is fine if it doesn't match here but it already warns you this profile wouldn't be good enough I think that's a really good way of going about it by the way uh, we would be able to get a lot more out of this one in terms of quality if we could I would assume at least, if we could um, get the correct fermentation temperature. 
Oh well, yeah, we set this one up. And now for the last one. Again, let's try to experiment. Uh, which component are we going to throw in there? Grapefruit? <laughs> Alright, um, let's do the manual press then. And throw it into that tank. Oof. That's not enough area, is it? Nope. Uh, what other matches do we have? It's not enough area either. That is enough area. For this one. Um, but what is it? <laughs> okay, we do... What? Okay, we are on that yeast. Um, we do need bitter salty. And slightly sour. And ever so slightly acrid. Or equal amounts of acrid and sour. Okay. Let's try that out. Um, so no sweetness. That's out. And no bitterness. So if sweet and bitter are out, then we would have berries. Oh, we have grapes. But no, they are way too much. Oh, this, is, this is a nice little puzzle. So we do need plums to get that massive salty spike, right? Uh, put that into the manual press as well. That's already getting you a decent match. It's good enough, but I'm not happy enough. So uh, let's correct that. We do need something that is ever so slightly sour and acrid. What if we throw an apple in there? No, that's too much, right? Yeah, that's too much. Okay, we can't have that massive portion. We do need something with a small sliver of green. Or... If we can't get that... Yeah, we can't get that. We don't have the component for it. Maybe the orange does better? Ah, it does have sweet, though. We can't use this. Can't use it. Oh, but if we use grapes? Huh. Yeah, m maybe that's the path to it. Yeah, yeah, look, look at that. Okay, so now we have a match in terms of um, the green... But we are way overshooting now for the acrid. So let's accept this match. And then uh, choose the old faithful. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see what we can create with this. Um, John? Yeah, not Mark. Good. Um, let's set this up. And... Sweet is not what we, what we want. Oh, there's not much happening here. Oof. A little too much. But this one is fine. It's not going to give us... Ugh. No. <laughs> not again. Gotta go to the shop. We are way low on peaches. Uh, no, plums. Th those are plums. Still. Um, okay. Way low on plums. And probably on grapes. Let's check it out. Welcome. Oh, no. Oh no, it's watched by the police. Typical. So how much can you buy without them? Oh man, that's not great. What can we get away with, like 50? No, probably not. We need like massive amounts of them. So this is not a... Unfortunately, that is not viable at the moment. Oh yeah, we need too much of this stuff. Or we can just make what we have. That will be fine. Just to uncover what, what it is. I think that's fair enough. Still making a decent amount of, of quantity. It's almost filling a little fermentation uh, tank. And yeah. All right. All right. I believe enough time has passed though. And uh, oh yeah. Let's check our inventory. And that will be alcohol. What do we have here? We have one brandy. Two brandies, that's not enough. And they did want the fine stuff too, right? Oh, the other hotspot didn't actually need it. Uh, but we do have a lot of moonshine sitting there waiting for customers. So let's drive them down to the forest camp. Mark, our driver, is going to handle that. Ah, yeah. The seven. The um, moonshine 101. And the heirloom, yeah. 35 liters each. Set the destination to right there. And start the delivery. Here you go. Forest Camp, how happy are you now? 
Uh, yeah, very, very. This will sell very nicely. And that speed of selling. Woohoo! Customer preferences are very nicely met. And the quality slash price is also giving us a fair amount of bonus. Let's have a look at one of the bubbly tanks. You can see where we are at and how it's bubbling. There's not that much... Uh, yeah, you can see the sugar content and ethanol content. The forest camp has sold out already? Wow. Okay. And that without increasing an alert level. So if you are making stuff that is... And for these batches we did, um, set the pricing at uh, like best selling. That, that just goes through the roof. Nice. Yeah, we uh, have a lot more money now as well. So I think it's time to go to the forest camp now and after all these days um, sell them the, the base stuff again. There he goes! Ride like thunder! And let's see how... Yeah, yeah, they are still selling fine. Oh, now it becomes interesting. Batch number 14 is going to reveal what it is very soon. Or, no, distillation first. That, that is not great. Um, hmm. But let's see what the flame rate offers. Now we get some interesting stuff. Oh yeah, there we have what we wanted to see. We can remove this one. Gets us very close. And do we want to remove anything else? I don't think so, right? No. Because if we remove this one... Then we do lack in um, in the salty part. So, no. That's fine. And the whole sour component just came out in the tail for this one. <laughs> Pretty solid. I right, uh, didn't need to remove that, though. It would have been such an easy thing to do. But um, this is looking good. 30%. We don't even need to add much in the bottling process. Fortification, that is. And batch number 12. Same fate right there. Let's see if it goes well. Uh, ooh. Now, most of the saltiness is there. But, wow, that removes so much. And you need a tail, at least. Uh, okay. So, there it snaps. Let's investigate this one first. We can remove the salty, but we would lose some of the bitter there. And here we have one salty bitter removal as well. But out in the tail we have two sweet removals. That is perfect. And this one would not make it better. Well, that's not make it, it better in terms of taste match. So let's keep it. Um, should we? Yeah, it's fine. We do need to water it down. Okay. Sign it off. Very good. That, that was a successful batch there. Um, or two batches even. And now it will be revealed what it was that we made. And... S Slivovitz. Okay. Slivovitz. I, I don't know what that is. I never, never heard that name. Um, now, how can we make it even better? 30% requires 35. So there you go. Yeah. And, ah, right. Best bang for your buck. There. Let's go exactly there. Nice. 83% or oh, 83 mastery points for that one. And, oh, got a uh, an achievement. Kindle pool or something. I don't know. Um, let's archive that one for John. And let's just check out what is going on with the forest camp. They are starting to slow down a little bit. But... Uh, well, quite a lot, <laughs> actually. But overall, this is still going pretty well. And there's just 14, 15 liters remaining. I think they can easily sell out there. And new recipe is going to be going into bottling. Kirsch! Okay, I understand that. Did this have Kirsch in it? Kirschen? As in cherries? I assume that's why it's called that, or was there someone called Kirsch? 
But this this is way too German for not being cherries. Um, so we do have 44. We do need 35 there. Quantity 101 liters. And we can have best bang. That best bang for your buck. 10,000. We get 81 mastery points. Bottle it. And archive. Oh, we should look in the archive what this was made of. Uh, no. Uh, no, this was slow. It's, yeah, yeah, Kirsch. Yeah, of course. Okay, so, yeah. Kirschen is cherries on, in German. And here we are setting up an, our last brandy. Do I have to remove a few parts? Oh, no, the salt is all the way at, at the front. Please, no. Uh, uh, no. And it's grouped with the acrid in there. But it's grouped with the acrid in there. At the highest. So we can fortify it later on. And then just remove some of that. And some of... No, that was too much. Hmm. We do need to remove a little bit more acrid. So maybe... That one? No, that was too much. Oh, man. Oh, we have too little acrid now. Well, I can't help that. Um, I can only remove the, su the sweetness. So, match is higher with this. That does... Oh, we do need 45% though. So, do we want to have the taste... No, it's probably the same amount of... Yeah, almost the same taste uh, match. So, we can just remove this, get a little bit more um, ethanol strength in there. And just add fewer liters of our expensive neutral spirits. Uh, let's create this one. And now it is time again for everyone else, apart from George, to start cleaning things up. That's starting to look a lot better. Mm, anything else that we should take a look at? No. No, I think that's good. Let's see what that one had. Yeah, this one also needs to be cleaned. Okay, done. Everything done. And he's almost done there too. Perfect. Bottling. What is this one? Eau de vie. Okay. Water of life. Is that correct? Sh should be. O is water. Uh, of de. And then B, I think, must be life, right? So, um, anyway. Um, and we need more ethanol. There. It's matched. Only needed 11 liters. That is... How much does that cost? Don't don't remember. Estimated revenue batch cost would that should be shown here, especially with this. I expect this to be updating. Doesn't seem to be doing that, but uh, certainly something that should be happening. Um, this is still best bang for a buck. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. One sixty nine. Quite nice. And we shall bottle that one. Big success story right there. And now, uh, workshop check through. Is everything in order? Yes, it is. We are ready to ship some brandies. And of course, make new ones. Uh, that too. But um, let's head over here. And now, finally, we can deliver what we wanted to and get the 400 liters of brandy sold out. These guys wanted fine brandy. We can provide now. I think we do have... How many brandies do we have? Uh, let's go to our inventory and check them out. Alcohol. There. So we do have... The background is giving you what type of brandy... Oh, uh, yeah. The quality. And we do have the Applejack, the Kirsch, and uh, Slivovich, and the uh, Witz. Slivovitz. And the Odevi. And... That is more than good enough. So let's take Applejack, Kirsch, and Ordovie, because that is what we have the most of. So <laughs> we could fill up the car like that. Um, now, not going to sell quite that many, but I think we can uh, go out there with 45 liters. Maybe a little bit less of that one. Uh, 40 there, and 45 for this. They are all priced extremely competitively. And we're going to set the destination to there. 
close this one. There are no question marks in our way, so let's start the delivery right there. And I'm looking forward to seeing how that sells. Let's get the number. Considering the price of it all, <laughs> that, is, that is pretty rapid. And we only have 150 customers at this moment. That is also going to change very quickly. So now let's, let's see what we do want to sell over here. We just have the preference brandy, so all our cheap stuff should go there. Do we have cheap brandy? The answer is yes, but only one. <laughs> we are making uh, the fine stuff. And there we have that one, and then we can sell what we have too much of, of the other one. Applejack, for instance. And then the eau de vie. Uh, there. The minor quantities of the others. Something like... Now, uh, 35 ish. And then maybe 50 of that? Uh, might be too much. Yeah, let's let's go with 45. Choose your destination there. And. Ew. Can we get there in a different way? The answer is no, not really. So it is time for an event. Um, Alright, let's go. Oh, was that the correct driver? Uh, anyway. Okay. Well-respected lady. Oh, it's always the same image, so... <laughs> it's, it's not that lady. <laughs> um, uh, what? Delivery price. Hotspot notoriety. Minus 100. It doesn't have notoriety just yet. Oh. Okay. There's something wrong here. <laughs> uh, so, she's offering help to boost your hotspot's general notoriety. Boost? Minus 100 is a boost? Okay. Um, politely decline. Uh, no, thanks. We don't have any notoriety there just yet. So this will be just fine as is. Uh, yeah, it's selling at a decent speed. But now we should be seeing massive, absolutely horrendous amounts of cash pile in into our account. And they are already at level 5. 10% more per liter sold. Okay. Our storage. Eh, yeah, they're just selling out of the last stuff. That's fine. So, with one tick, we are now making... Whoa! Like 400 bucks. <laughs> that is also going to take a while to sell. Um, oh, we are going to be filthy rich at the end of this. But uh, I think it is already time to wrap this up. And uh, next time we come back, we are going to craft some more fine brandies. But let's first take a look at what we have crafted so far there's a lot of things that we are discovering oh we're discovering all of them yeah that's looking very nice and Audivy is over there what well, even gets us a vodka <laughs> all right i hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time <laughs>